Hello, it's 1989 Buick Creata. It's been General Motors owned Hughes Electronics. And the Riata was a uh, halo car for Buick. They built a special facility to assemble the cars. A lot of handwork done on them. So we're going to start this little guy up. ABS light comes and goes. Sometimes it'll light up, sometimes it won't. Brakes work fine. It's off now. Oh, the touch screen's awesome. I found a uh, gentleman who used to work in the plant in the electronics, and uh, he went through this uh, head unit. Been a few years ago, everything works great on it. Um, this is a summary page. And you can turn like the climate control on here. And the tunes. When an 18 year old gunman opened fire at the Rob uh, Elementary yes, they're School. Always in talking it, about guns. Um, that um, it's outside of them. The radio. So that even gives a little bit of peace. You can change your channels here. Volume. This was 1989. <laughs> this was really high tech back then. It has a uh, antenna clear. I will turn this off. Well, hopefully you can see that. The climate control again has a special page, and you can set your temperatures in here and automatic, which it's on now or low or high. Outside, 60 degrees. We defogs and heater. Everything works fine. The gauges are cool. We've got good oil pressure. We've got a new alternator. It's doing quite nicely. 170 coolant temp right now. And uh, you can go through your options. And you've got uh, trip computers and monitors and status of various things. And you can set the clock in here. Diagnostics. That's it's pretty fun. And on the instrument panel, it's got a little uh, quarter tank you can get a full spread on. Uh, it's, the fuel pump's been replaced in this car. Got all that seems to work well. Lights, let's see if I can catch them functioning here. They work real well. We've replaced the gears in them and the motors. <clears throat> and the cruise control works. The uh, panel lights work the dimming at night works um, the seat controls if you can hear it or not forward and back and tilt and um, up and down the backrest and the shifter in the center <clears throat> this uh, bright silver area is stainless steel bar that it's covered with black tape from the factory it was looking kind of nasty so we pulled the console out and removed that <laughs> it looks great as a cassette player I have not used it um, fog lamps work and they can uh, they run run fine they're built into the bumper the lamp retract There's the fog lamps off so these guys We'll put the headlights up, or you can service them. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, they turn the car off and they'll stay up. I've got hella uh, 200 millimeter H4s in there for the headlamp, so it's a nice, nice upgrade. Interior's in good condition. Um, door locks work, solenoids are getting a little leak, weak. <laughs> I don't really worry about locking the car unless it's gonna be outside overnight. And a lot of times I got to use a key to unlock it. It's uh, a little old school. I don't mind, I guess. And the back area here is in good condition. Passenger seat. Okay, let's uh, let's go back to the gauges here. And you can see that. 
everything's fully functional. Okay, thanks for looking.